So this question has a lot going on. The very first thing that catches my eye is the table. So I'm gonna call this first and foremost a diagram question, right? Because it has that table. Now, it is a, also a pretty long question, so I'm gonna keep in mind I may need to translate something from this word problem, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. But I'm definitely focused first and foremost on the fact that I do have a table here. So my eyes go directly there. I see that in this table I have two samples, sample A and B. The first column of data here is the percentage of visitors wearing eyeglasses. Looks like they're the exact same for both samples. And then my next column is margin of error, and they're off by 1%, right? Sample A has a 3% margin of error, sample B has a 2% margin of error. So the information up here says two different store owners in a shopping center estimated the percentage of all visitors who wear eyeglasses. They each selected a random sample of the shopping center visitors and recorded whether the visitors were wearing eyeglasses, right? We see that. They both recorded 21%. The results from each sample are shown in the table below. So the actual question says, if the associated margin of error was calculated the same way for both samples, which of the following is the most likely reason that the result for our sample A has a larger margin of error? So what is margin of error, right? Margin of error is a calculation, and let's just keep it very simple. It's a calculation that basically lets you know how far off the information from your sample is relative to the entire population from which you pulled that sample, right? So we understand that the shop owners did not question or stop every single person at the shopping center. They both selected a random sample of the shopping center visitors, okay? So then if sample A has a larger margin of error, it could be that they selected fewer visitors Right, because the fewer, the smaller the sample data, the more potential error there is, and how well that data matches to the reality of the entire population. And that should make sense, right? The larger the sample is, the closer to the total population you're getting, and the closer to the real data you're getting, right? So answer choice A says sample A included more visitors. I don't think so. I really think. Answer choice B is where the answer is, where it says sample B included more visitors, and that's why it got closer, right? It has a smaller margin of error because it had more, it included more visitors, so it got closer to the actual value. Choices C and D both say sample A or sample B included a greater percentage of visitors, but they have the same percentage, right? So let's keep that in mind. C and D are therefore gone. B, I think, is the best answer.